Well, boys, <laughs> it may be over. It may be over. You know what I'm talking about. The Patriots dynasty. It may be over. This is a recap of what just happened in this game right here. This AFC wild card game that just happened. And the one from earlier as well. Um, I'll talk about college basketball a little bit tomorrow. Um... But yeah, first off, congrats to the Titans and congrats to the Texans. You guys are going to the divisional round. Now the Titans are going to the Ravens. Not sure when that game will be. Hold on, let me check. Let me check. See, you know, my, 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 my schedules is off, man. Um, let's see. Where's that? Uh, yeah, here it is. So, uh, let's see. So here we go, here we go. So next Saturday, um, next Saturday night, the Baltimore Ravens will be hosting the Tennessee Titans. So they are the lowest remaining seed in the AFC. And on Sunday at 2.05, that's 3.05 for you Eastern Time Zone peeps, it will be the Houston Texans going up to Arrowhead and taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's let's just talk about how we got to this point anyway. Um, so let's go through the first game first. Um, Bills Texans. Um, Bills had control of this game for about a quarter, for about a for about you know uh, the first half and maybe a little bit of that third quarter. But once the Texans got rolling, you know, like like that first half had. Josh Allen running the ball, getting a touchdown catch. He was throwing it all right, and you know. But the second half came. Deshaun Watson came in and just did his thing. He he put this team on his back, and he got the Bills. He got the Bills. Put them down. Put them away. Had to go to overtime to get the W. You know what? Just some sensational play, especially that one play they got. You know, they got the Texans to the to the point where they could tie the game and win the game at the same time and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the Texans beat the Bills 22 to 19 in overtime. First off, um, and then the second game, the second game that just ended, um, it is going to be. Um, hold up, before we talk about that, let's talk about Josh Allen first. Um, you know that first half that he had. Was all right. It was it was good enough, you know. The Bills were up 16, like nothing, at, at the end of the third quarter and stuff like that. And once the fourth quarter hit, you know, it just turned into a comedy of errors. There was some weird, weird plays. Josh Allen had a run all the way up the gut. He was he was scampering and running up the gut, and then dude just flicked the ball backwards. What in the world was he thinking? There was also this other. There was also this other time where, you know, he could have, you know, lost the Bills the game when he got sacked twice inside the 40-yard line. And then he and then he got sacked again and took them all the way back, took the, gave the Texans the ball, like, what, the 30-yard line? That, like, the Bills 30-yard line or something like that? Just some bad, bad plays right there by Josh Allen. He has to improve on his accuracy, he has to improve on his decision-making, I think. You know, the Texans offense just needs to have what that second half is. What that second half they did, they have to do that the entire game. They can't just do that in the second half. It's not going to roll against the Chiefs. Now, the Chiefs do have not the greatest defense in the world. But you can't can't, you, you can't lay a goose egg in the first half and expect something in the second. Um, and as far as the second game of the AFC wild card goes... Um, is the Tom Brady era done? Because his contract is expiring. People are talking about it. Um, I, to be honest, I don't know. And with this loss, especially, you know, it was just such a stinker. Um, you know, most of us here, I am pretty much happy about it. Um, that the New England Patriots lost this game. Um, uh, but yeah, um, Derrick Henry ran all over the Patriots defense. Man, I guarantee the dude had 170 yards rushing. Just absolutely beasting and feasting. Ryan Tannehill was no slouch either. He did 
he did what he needed to do against a tough, tough defense. Probably the, it is the toughest defense in the NFL. But, you know, um, um, Bray and his offense just couldn't get anything going. At, at, and it was 14 to 13 for like the entire second half. And, you know, the. You know, the Titans, they, they did what they needed to do, contain Brady, keep him from getting the long ball when he does, when he does throw it long, and keep, you know, the offense such as Edelman and James White and, and all those guys in the backfield, and, you know, keep them guys from getting plays, you know, all these short passes and these runs and stuff like that that Brady likes to do and that Josh McDaniels likes to do. Um, so... Um, but yeah, the Titans are moving on. They'll be playing Baltimore next Saturday night. It's gonna be good, gonna be a great game. Let me tell you. Um, but most important question here is: Will the Brady era be over? Because you know, um, again, his contract is expiring. As I said, um, it's not like he's not like getting like a new deal or anything like that. So does he walk? Does he re-sign with the Patriots? We don't even know if Josh McDaniels coming back. Because that guy is getting the offers for some reason. Don't, don't really know why, but you know, it is what it is, you know. He's the guy that led Tom Brady to you know, have these magical numbers in several seasons um, that he's been here in New England. So, um, I, I don't know, to be completely honest, I don't really follow the Patriots newswire, but if there is some news about that, if Tom Brady does need you know, retire or something like that, I'll be the first guy to tell you, like, yo, um, like, whoa, what, what in the world is that? Um, but yeah, so, um, the NFC wild card games are tomorrow night, or rather tomorrow afternoon, and late in the afternoon tomorrow, and we'll recap both of those games, tomorrow Seattle, Philadelphia, and Minnesota, New Orleans, we'll recap those two games tomorrow. Um, then we'll do a divisional round preview. Um, also do some college basketball stuff. So, um, yeah, it's going to pretty much do it from here. Um, Y'all take care, and we'll see you guys tomorrow night. Uh, peace.